going on YouTube in my previous video I showed you how to create the webcam frame that I use for my stream in this video I'm going to show you how to create the cool color changing effects that I have on my stream as well for that webcam frame and we're going to do it in Adobe After Effects so in this video guys we're going to cover a few things we're going to take that file from discord which is the webcam frame that we created in the previous video and we're going to bring that into Adobe After Effects and we're going to do a few things. We're going to use a hue slash saturation shift on the webcam frame. I'm going to show you how to export that file in Premiere Pro and then upload that into stream elements and how you will set that up with OBS. So it's going to be a few things. First is creating the actual animation in After Effects exporting the file in Premiere Pro and then setting up the frame and the color changing effect with alerts in stream elements. So with that being said, let's dive into the first step of this video. In order to export a WebM file from Premiere Pro, you'll need to download the WebM plugin. That link will be available in the description below. If you haven't already, you'll need to grab the download for the webcam frame, which is in the download section of my Discord server, and the webcam frame is right here. Once you've downloaded those two items, we're ready to get started here in Adobe After Effects. What we're going to do is start a new composition, um, and we are going to do a 1920 by 1080 here. Make sure you have the frame rate set to 60. Keep in mind guys, if your alerts are longer than 10 seconds, you're going to want to change the duration of the file itself. All right, the first thing we're going to do here is import that file, the webcam frame file. So make sure you import the webcam frame file. Once you have the webcam frame file imported, it should be located over here on the left in the project section. What we're going to do is grab that file and drag it down into the timeline. From here, you can do all kinds of different stuff. This is generally where I start when creating my animations for alerts, things like that. But what we're going to do here is just a slight hue shift um, color changing effect. That way we have this cool color changing, you know, rainbowish effect going on when the alerts pop off on stream. So what we need to do is right click on the source down here. We're going to go up to effect. Then we're going to go to color correction and we're going to add a hue slash saturation effect here. Now everything in Adobe After Effects works on a timeline. If you don't understand how the timeline works, then working in After Effects it can be extremely confusing. It's very simple. And the time code down here, you have everything separated into frames. That's what the F stands for. As you can tell, it goes from 0 to 10 over here. This is going to be 10 seconds. It's going to be 0 down here, 30 seconds, 1 second, 1 and a half seconds, 2 seconds, 2 and a half seconds, so on and so forth. If you hit this little arrow key on the left here in the sources, it's going to drop down the transform that you can do to the image itself and then the effects that you've added onto it. So we're going to hit the effects drop down. This is going to be where our hue slash saturation effect is. The reason we need to be able to look at this is because we have to put a timestamp at the beginning of the color change and then also at the end of the color change so that After Effects knows where it starts and where it ends. So for example, if we hit this little time code over here, the time key, it'll put a timestamp right there for us. This is going to toggle in After Effects that this is the start of the color changing range. If I were to adjust this, this means that this is the color that we're starting with. It'll start with this color, but we want to start with our original color. So we're not going to make any adjustments here. What we're going to do is go all the way down to the end at 10 seconds, and I'm going to add a one on this little master hue up here. What this master hue is, is a color shift in a full color range. So it's going to go through the entire rainbow of colors one time in this in this 10 second period. So we've put a timestamp here and then at the end we have added a timestamp there where it is a one entire master hue shift there. So now if we play the video, what it will do is shift through all of those colors now that was a bit too slow of a hue shift, so 
what we're going to do is if we drag our cursor back over on top of this last keyframe if this little blue box over here is blue that means that we're affecting this frame so any changes we make to the hue shift will directly affect affect this keyframe whereas an example if i slide this to the left it's gray and it will put a new keyframe here and also leave this other keyframe here so you'll have a lot of weird color shifts going on unless you edit directly on this keyframe alternatively what you can do is just delete out that keyframe start with a new fresh color change that's what i'm going to do this master hue up here i'm going to do a, an entire five cycles instead of one on this 10 second here so every two seconds it'll go through an entire cycle in the rainbow up here in the entire color range and this is what it will look like i went ahead and changed it from five cycles to seven cycles it just really speeds up that color that color change and adds a little bit more excitement to the alert to the animation so i went ahead and did seven instead of five once you get the hue shift the way that you like it what we'll need to do is save this adobe after effects file so we'll go to file save as make sure you save it in a location that that you will remember what i'm going to name this file is webcam color changing effect go ahead and hit save and go ahead and open up premiere pro and i'll meet you there while premiere pro is booting up guys keep in mind we do offer free help when it comes to audio and vid video related things in my discord server so if you need help setting up any streaming type of tech any audio things like that we offer that help for free in my discord also guys the download for this animation and the webcam frame will be in my discord server all you need to do is navigate your way to the download section and download the webcam file and the animation file at the end of this video remember we do have to still set this up in stream elements which we will i will show you how to do at the end of this video now that we're in premiere pro all we'll do is go to file import we'll import that file that we created in after effects so make sure you remember the location of that file premiere pro is very simple to use as well what we'll do is drag that file that we just imported over to the timeline and we'll place it in the timeline so when exporting this file you have to be sure that you include one thing so i'm going to go over here and make sure that we go ahead and export um, first thing we need to change the format to webm so be sure you downloaded that webm plugin that i showed you earlier and then also there's something else you need to toggle and that is include alpha channel this is going to make it a transparent image so you don't have a background on the video it's only going to be the webcam frame the reason we do this in premiere pro instead of using the media encoder is because if we want to add audio to the file or an animation or alert or something like that you can do that in Premiere Pro. All you need to do at this point is make sure you choose the file location that you want to save this at. I'm going to go back to my sleek design file. I'm going to save it here and go ahead and just hit export. Once we got the file exported, we're going to go to stream elements. What you'll need to go is to my overlays and then create a blank overlay. I'm going to change the name of this to my sleek webcam overlay make sure the overlay resolution is 1080p and go ahead and create that overlay once that's created hit the little pencil icon and we'll go and edit this overlay so what we're going to do is insert insert image set the image make sure you upload the image to stream elements once it's uploaded all you'll need to do is select that image and it'll put that image in stream elements. I'm going to make it rather large, not too big though, and center it. The next thing we're going to do is set up an alert box. So we're gonna click this widgets button up here in the top left, add an alert box, and each one of these alerts, we're going to upload that WebM file that we created. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with the follow alert. I'm going to delete this. I'm also going to clear the sound out change the video i'm going to upload the video file once the video file is uploaded all you got to do is submit it what i do is select text over image layout it makes the video file larger i'm also going to clear out the alert message so there's no message there 
and I'm going to save this real quick just so I can test what the follow looks like. So I'm going to hover over that bell there and emulate a follower event. What we need to do is place this image or this video directly on top of the webcam frame. We want to make sure it is perfect. So do take your time to get this perfectly placed over that webcam frame. Now what we're going to do is emulate the follow event again. It should look something like this. The next what we're going to do is the animation settings. I'm going to hit this little arrow up here in the enter animation. I'm going to have it fade in and the exit animation. I'm going to have it fade out. I'm going to have this set this direction duration to one second on both of those go ahead and hit save that way it fades in and fades out instead of just popping in like that the sizing's off a little bit i'm gonna get this set up perfectly and then we can move forward all right perfect once you got this placed directly on top of the webcam frame all you need to do is set this same exact alert up for each and every alert that you want it on Ooh, do keep in mind guys on the cheer alert there's actually variations you want to disable each one of these variations otherwise you'll run into the issue where it will have its own like when someone donates one bit or 100 bits it'll just do its own thing and you're like what the heck's going on it's because of these variations so make sure you disable each one of these variations it's the same with a subscriber alert so make sure you remove any variations with this subscriber alert save that and now we are finally ready to move forward. The next step is to set this up in OBS. So make sure you get your OBS open up so that we can put this in OBS and start using it right now. First and foremost, what you'll want to do is click this launch button and copy this link. Next thing you're going to do is create a new source. Go to browser, name it the webcam source. Go ahead and create, place this URL that you just copied there. Actually change this to 1920 by 1080 so you get the full the full image there and go ahead and hit OK. Should pop up with the webcam there. Go ahead and size it down and place it where you want it on this screen. What you can do in stream elements is move the webcam frame and the alerts around on this page here and it will change the location of it inside of this red box on OBS. But this is what it looks like. Now, all you need to do is obviously put your webcam below the webcam frame. What's up guys, check this out. Size down your webcam frame and get, I mean your webcam and get it below the webcam frame that we just created. Bada boom, bada bing. You now have a sleek looking webcam frame with some dope looking animations. Check it out. In this video, I was going to show you how to make your webcam frame change periodically throughout the stream. I'm going to have to save that for a future video as this video is getting a bit long and I figured that video is going to take a decent amount of time anyways to do. So in my next video, I'll show you how to make your webcam change different colors periodically throughout the stream. Again, it'll be very simple. We'll just be using After Effects and exporting it in Premiere Pro and then uploading that video file to stream elements and using instead of the webcam frame that's the image, we're gonna use that video file if that makes sense. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will catch you next time. Peace. Perfect.